2022. I'm so sorry. God damn. Can you, I smoked some weed. Okay. Well, you're a detainer. <laughs> A woman got into trouble by doing this in public. A young girl caused an accident with a BAC twice the legal limit. The severe consequences the woman faced after driving dangerously. The most annoying traffic stop you have ever seen. In a recent incident on March 22, 2023, in Washington, police were called to a local store after reports of inappropriate behavior behind the store. Upon arrival, officers encountered a woman who was accused of being intimate at the location. Hello, police department. Hello. What are we doing? Hello, how are you? I'm good. What do we got going on? Someone called uh, and said that you're having sex back my here. Daddy here. <coughs> okay. Yeah. Do you have an ID on you? I don't. What's your name? People called and said you were having sex back here and the business doesn't want you here. So. Having sex with who? That's what they said. <clears throat> but they don't want you here regardless, so I'm going to trespass you and then we'll be on our way. Okay. What's your name? Having sex with you. The police requested the woman to provide her personal information, but she appeared confused and agitated, denying the accusations and questioning the police presence. Nelson? Nelson, What's your birthday? March 10th, 22. March 10th of what? 22. 22. Yeah, my license is out of Michigan. March 10th, what year were you born? 2022. Okay. Can you look at me, please? 2022, 2002. I'm so sorry. God damn. Can you look I smoked some weed. Okay. Well, you're a detainer. <laughs> you're not going to wait for it. Erica, you have warrants? Erica, stop. Erica. When Erica began to cooperate, but then resisted and tried to flee, officers were forced to use coerced measures and handcuffed her to control the situation. Furthermore, the police noticed signs of substance abuse. <coughs> Erica, just let you know everything's been audio and video recorded, okay? Yeah, I got that. Go again. And I was having sex with a bush, right? <laughs> yeah? Erica, love. Well, where you been, girl? I haven't seen you in a while. Oh, shit. The last time I saw you got clean, you were walking downtown. Yeah. That was like two years ago. Yeah. Five days after, don't miss me out. They wanted me to turn myself in because they want me to do a year in county. I mean, you got me bad. I just got out of. I just got out of. They want me to turn myself in. Now. <coughs> Erica, do you need any medical attention? Yeah. You didn't sell any drugs. No, but I did do Listen. a. You see the foil in the front here? Oh wait, it's in my pocket. Oh. Uh, I had a study pad and foil. Do you need any aid for being in the bushes? I want to make sure you're not hurt from... No, but I saw out. you coming from afar, so I took that pill, so... I did, I did. You see us. No, I did, too. Obviously, that's why I hid my foil. Nick, stop acting like you know me. Please. Well, we did know you. Give me some medical attention, because I will <coughs> OD. Okay. There you go. Start BLS, too, for... She admitted to using fentanyl, a powerful opioid often used medically for pain relief, but highly addictive and potentially fatal when misused. In this emergency, the police used Narcan to ensure the woman's safety after using stimulants. Here, we're going to give you some Narcan, okay? Need some Narcan? Okay, I'm going to give you the bush, Best way to withdraw. I'm not overdosing, but it's the quickest way to withdraw. In three hours, I'll be off Betty. So can you put me in a car, please? Yep. Uh, you yummy? Yep. Mm, damn, dude. I love you, girl. You think I'll have bail? You see a judge, probably. I don't know. Is this is this like your final one where you'd have to go to jail? This, this was, um, what do you call that? You get, uh... Sentencing. 
They wanted me to turn myself in and then have a next day uh, in custody court hearing and then five days later have a huh? sentence. Yo! You know that person? Yo. Yeah. I'm trying to tell her, hey. Take your stuff? No. No. You know you would not have let me go. <coughs> Muting. Witnessed what happened we with the officers. officers. Okay. Um, is it okay if I just interview you guys in regards to the use of force aspect of it? Is that okay? Sure. Okay, I'm just gonna do one at a time. So if I can just have, I'll just, we'll just step aside real quick. Whoever wants to talk to me first. I'll talk first. I'm taller. Okay. So the the reason that I'm talking to you is is in regards specifically to the use of force that happened because the officers sorry. had to take. Uh, sounds like they had to take her down to the ground. Can you describe a little bit of what you saw? So most of what we saw was through that window and over her car. Okay. Because we didn't want to be a distraction. Sure. Um, we definitely saw the officers pull up. They called. Um, I answered because I'm the one who called it into dispatch. Yeah. Because it looked like two people. Fuck, sorry. Yeah. And so we were like, hey, that's not okay. And they called and they said, hey, where is this happening? And we said, oh, we're in the back of the store. And he goes, oh, okay, I see. So we ended the call and they approached the person and they got out and they attempted to run away. Okay. And they used what I considered was a safe and necessary amount of effort to stop someone from fleeing. That person was rather violent with them and has been yelling and screaming at them. Could you tell what the officers, like how they were grabbing onto her or anything like that? Like the tactic that was being used or anything? It was very like open and it wasn't anything violent. They didn't punch. They were just trying to stop her from running away. Okay. Just to Did you see where the, the person like landed when they took her down the ground? Oh, they actually stopped the person from like face oh, into the okay. ground. They like, caught them. They didn't want them to get hurt. Gotcha. So they into the bushes right there, right behind the yellow toolbox. Okay. Um, yeah, they stopped them from landing face first into the bush. Anything that you observed that would be irrational or excessive in any way? Not on behalf of the officers. Okay. They were really just trying to make sure they didn't do anything on court and keep them safe while also stopping them from running okay. away because they were going to land face first in that bush and it doesn't feel good. That's really all the questions I have for you. Thank you very much. Absolutely. Okay. Did a good job. After administering Narcan, the woman was given a health check at the scene and then taken to jail. She will face charges of assault, resisting arrest, and providing false information to the police. These offenses could result in a jail sentence of six months to two years, fines ranging from $500 to $5,000, and possibly probation or community service. On May 14, 2023, a concerning incident occurred when a girl driving a Mustang lost control and crashed into a Subaru WRX. After receiving the report, police quickly arrived at the scene to handle the situation. How you guys doing? Good. And you? Anybody hurt? Nope. Hey. Anybody hurt? Are nope. you hurt? I'm good. How about you? You good? All right, hang tight. I'm saying I'm sorting through all this. Nope. No, that's not a problem. Not it. The police check related documents such as the driver's license and registration, as well as the personal information of the female driver. She struggled to provide these documents as the car was owned by her stepfather and the insurance had expired. This is the first accident I've been in, so I'm not Whose car is it? Huh? It's your car? It's it's my stepdad's car. Squad property check on Marquette Chevy. This is my first accident I've been in, so I'm not really sure how to handle this. No, so I've been letting my friend borrow my car for a while, so I borrowed my stepdad's car, so I'm using his car right now. Do you, um, do you have any idea of where it may be? Or? I'm going to look for it. Okay. I don't know exactly. 
I don't, I don't think he has it in this car. Yeah. So my mom and my stepdad are going through a rough like, breakup right now. So I'm using his car, but we're in the process of giving it back to him. Yeah. So I'm not, I'm not gonna lie. I'm, like, I'm, I'm not sure exactly how the paperwork's working right now. Yeah. So that's exactly what I have. I can look for more for you. I don't know. I'm not gonna lie. I, I did. I jumped a little ahead of the bumper, and I, I did hit them. I'm not gonna lie. I'm not gonna be like fucking with y'all. I did. I did hit them. Did you um have any? Have you had anything to drink today? Or? Um, probably about two hours ago. I was at Uncle Ricky's. Yeah. Probably about two hours ago though. Okay. Yeah. No. No. I have no problem. I'm gonna comply with y'all. I have no problem. Okay. When asked about the cause of the accident and if she had consumed alcohol before driving. She admitted to drinking about two hours before the accident. I just checked to make sure everybody, nobody's injured. There. I didn't get the other, there's a passenger in the other vehicle. Yeah. I didn't get any, any information yet because I wanted to see what you want to do with her. Sabrina, are you okay? Yeah, okay. I'm fine. I'm just waiting on you. Okay. okay. What do you got to give them? Um, I have this. I have this. I texted my mom for the actual insurance policy. Just to make sure. You texted, so, your mom, you, you texted your mom, you said? Yeah. Okay. Where's your phone at? Um, right over here. Okay. I didn't want to keep it out. That's fine. I try not to keep it out during... While I'm driving, honestly. Um, I'm borrowing this car from my mom's stepdad. My car has been kind of out of commission, so I've been borrowing this car. Of course, the last one I'm buying is coming. The police then asked the female driver to step out of the car and perform field sobriety tests. Okay, all right, this one. Yeah, we'll stop driving. No, no, no. Um, ma'am, you can stand by real quick. So we're going to pull both these vehicles. Eddie, bring the, uh, have them pull over to the right lane. You bring the Mustang over. Pull 895 behind here. Um, so do me a favor. We're going to do a test uh, for your eyes, okay? Do you have any issues with your eyes at all? No. No? Okay. Do me a favor. Uh, stand straight up for me, please. All right, and I just want you to put your hands down at your side, okay? And then what you're going to do is using your eyes and your eyes only. Yeah. All right. You ready? Yeah. Here we go. Okay, you can relax. So, uh, next we're gonna do some uh, additional tests, okay? Yeah. Now, you're gonna face me, okay? We're gonna use this line, okay? Yeah. So I'm gonna demonstrate the test for you, all right? Go for it. All right, so. What you're going to do is you're going to take nine heel-to-toe steps, okay? And I'm going to demonstrate. Once you get to, uh, to the nine steps, you're going to take a small series of steps in a straight line fashion, and then you're going to take nine back, okay? So I'm going to demonstrate, okay? One, two, three, all the way down to nine. When you get to nine, I want you to keep the foot planted. You're going to take a small series of steps, and yep, and then take nine steps back. One, two, three, all the way down to nine. Okay? okay? Yes, sir. You understand? Yes, sir. All right, you may begin. All right, very good. So, the next test that we're going to do, okay, I want you to do the same thing. You're doing good so far, okay? I want you to keep your hands down at your side, okay? So, again, you're going to keep your hands down at your side. When you're ready, you're going to raise your right foot off the ground approximately six inches, keeping your foot parallel to the ground, and start counting out loud. Look down at your foot. 1,001, 1,002, 1,003. Continue until I tell you to stop. You can relax. I didn't know. Based on the signs of intoxication and failing the tests, she was arrested and faced serious charges related to her actions. The girl was given a health check at the scene to ensure she was not seriously injured. She was then taken to the police station for further processing. O'Fallon police receive reports of a reckless driver continuously swerving and driving in the wrong lane, posing a danger. The police quickly identified the vehicle and conducted a traffic stop to check the driver's condition. This is what followed. Hello. Hi. 
Officer Hazard, the old Fountain Police Department. How are you guys doing tonight? Yeah, I'm all right. Where are you guys coming from tonight? Uh, I just pulled over to talk to yeah, you. Okay. All right. Are you guys, are you okay? Mm -hmm. You seem like you're a little upset. No. Okay. Do you have your driver's license with you, ma'am? I don't have mine. But... So where are you guys coming from tonight? Bubble. Bubble. Do you have insurance for the car, Jordan? Um, yes, it's on my phone. If you don't mind. Sure. I only have a virtual for my dad. What's that? I only, excuse me, excuse my voice. I only have a virtual for my dad. Okay, that'd be fine. The vehicle had a female driver and a man both admitting to drinking earlier. The police also found an open beer bottle in the car, which added to the severity of the situation. Have you been drinking tonight? Uh, I had a couple drinks, yeah. How many is a couple? Two. Uh, I had two. You've had two? Mm -hmm. And you've had how many? Yeah, uh, my third one is right here. Okay. Well, uh, that's open, isn't it? It is open, and I'm sorry, but it is, like, it's, I took it with me, and, like, I'll be willing to take all of it, but, like, this is just one beer. All right. It's not even... It's not even, like, I didn't even drink it. Oh, I got you. So you said you had two drinks? Mm -hmm. She had two. I had... This is my third one. About how long ago have you had your drink? Two drinks? Just one. I no. just left my mother home. How long ago? About, I mean, uh, it's about 10, 15 yeah, minutes. It's 1.30. No, no, it's 1.30. You had your first drink at like 12. About 10, 15 minutes was my last drink. Okay. And you've had it too? Mm-hmm. Okay. All right. I'm going to check on a few things, okay? Mm -hmm. I'm going to take this too if you want to. I'll out. be back with you on that. Just leave that alone for now, okay? The police asked the female driver to step out and perform field sobriety tests to assess her driving capability. Hey, Jordan. You mind stepping out of the car for me real quick? No. Talk to you for a second and long. Do you have any weapons on you? Turn around for you. I'm just going to pat you down make sure you ain't got no weapons. It's clear that he doesn't. But I'm just going to pat you down make sure you don't. You step over here for me. Okay, is, it, is everything okay? Or what, what's going on? And you seem a little upset. I just, I just want to get home. Okay. All right. <clears throat> so... You said you had a couple of drinks tonight, which is okay, you know. You said those two drinks you had, were they uh, were they beer, were they uh, mixed drinks, or what were yeah, they? Yeah, I had a Malibu and rum. Malibu, rum. Malibu rum and Sprite. Malibu and rum, mm. those were the two drinks you had? Mm. Did you have any beer with that? Mm. Any shots or anything like that? I had a shot. You had a shot? What did you have a shot of? Uh, a green tea shot. Okay. <laughs> All right, so here's what I'm gonna do, okay? Um, since you were honest with me, obviously you're driving. I just wanna make sure that you're okay to drive home. I live like two minutes around the corner. I got it. I got you. So, uh, it's kind of it's kind of customary that I pull you out of the car or ask you to come out of the car so I could talk to you, just to gauge your level of intoxication, okay? Obviously, you admitted to me that you've been drinking and, um, you know, obviously you were driving home. You guys parked in here at the at the Lions Choice in, in O'Fallon. You're sitting here a couple blocks from home. So, um, first, I just wanted to make sure that there was no, like, issues going on between you and your, your male friend in there. Like, you guys weren't fighting or anything like that because I could see that your eyes seem like they might have been a little glossy you might have been crying or I don't know I don't know what was going on uh, prior to making contact with you but I just want to make sure that uh, you're okay to drive home okay so I'm gonna do a few tests okay here on scene to make sure that you're okay driving okay look at the tip of my finger okay and with your eyes and your eyes only I just want you to follow the tip of my finger you see the tip of my finger okay stay straight keep your arms out to your side and follow with my finger when I move it Blink a couple times. Um, do you, um, while I'm asking you this, do you consume any cannabis or anything like that? No, you don't smoke any weed or anything like that. Are you under any kind of pain medication or any kind of prescription medication? No? Okay. All right, just go ahead and put your feet together. Stand uh, straight up. Put your arms out to your side for me, okay? All right, just go ahead and stand over here for me. We're going to walk this line here, okay? This is a straight, narrow line right here. You see this white line? So what I'm going to do is I'm going to put you in position. And I'm going to explain the rules and everything else, okay? What you're going to do is you're going to walk nine heel to toe steps on this line right in front of you that you see. You're going to count out your steps out loud, okay? It's going to look like something like this. One, two, three, four, so on until you get to your ninth step. When you take your ninth step, you'll take a series of small steps, keeping your left foot planted on the ground and returning nine heel to toe steps backwards on the line. Counting your steps out loud, okay? Keep your arms to your side. Count your steps out loud. Are you ready to begin? No. You may begin. One, two, three, four. 
All right, I'm gonna do one more test for you, okay? In this series, it's called the one-legged stand test, okay? What I need you to do is just stand straight, keep your feet together, keep your arms to your side, all right? Whatever foot you decide to raise up, I want you to raise it up approximately six inches off the ground, keeping your foot parallel with the ground, and you're gonna count out loud, 1,001, 1,002, 1,003, 1,004, 1,005, and so on until they tell you to stop, okay? Do you understand that? Okay, may begin. 1,001, The woman failed to complete these tests as instructed, indicating she was intoxicated. Next, the police asked the woman to blow into a breathalyzer. Let's turn around here, Sergeant. Oh, yeah, that's right. I can do this. Yeah. Don't talk to me. Yeah. Don't talk to me. All right, what I'm gonna do, you're gonna you're gonna blow in this like you're blowing up a balloon, okay? One hard, clean breath, right. okay? Mm. Blow, 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 harder, 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 there you go. All right. The results showed the BAC of 0.144%, significantly higher than the legal limit of 0.08%. After being arrested, the woman faced several legal consequences. In court, she pled guilty to driving under the influence and was sentenced to two years of supervision, required to attend an alcohol rehabilitation program, and fined $3,431. One evening, the police stopped the driver for traffic violations and nearly hitting a police car. When the police approached, the driver refused to lower the car window, making communication difficult. Can we please? No. No. Okay. So I saw you. The reason I, I stopped you is because you crossed the center line coming on normal. Is there a reason that you were crossing me on your phone or anything? I'm trying to like put in the directions. Oh, you're trying to put the re directions in? I was already kind of there. I was like, All right. Do you live? Do you live here? Actually, no. No. I do live around. You live around here. Where do you Where do you live? Hey, can you crack the window yeah. so we can hear you? It's a yeah. crack. Okay. Sorry, it's a crack. So, I, I get you. You understand what I'm saying? I'm like, we can't do, hear you. We can't fully yeah. hear you. Just roll this one down just just a little bit more no, for me. Because my from my car. Okay, I'm gonna have you step out of the vehicle no, then. I'm, not gonna step out. I'm gonna have you step out of the vehicle. Why? Because I can barely hear you and you're. I'm you're... not stepping out. Okay. The police tried to persuade the driver to step out, but she refused and kept questioning the reason for being stopped. Okay, have you had anything to drink tonight? Mm -hmm. A couple drinks. Have you had anything tonight to drink? What was your reason for arresting me again? You're not yeah, under arrest. arrest. The reason well, I you... the reason I stopped you is because on normal you went and crossed the center line. You almost ran into my car. I am so sorry about that. I definitely was trying to like put in definitely. Okay. That's the reason why, that's the reason I stopped. Sorry. Okay. Do you have your license and insurance on you? Actually, I do. Okay. Want to grab your your license? So, you say, are you going to give me a ticket or what's going on? You say, what was the reason I almost ran into you? So, the, re the reason that I stopped you is because you crossed the center line and almost what? ran into I me. I think you guys just terrorized me the whole way. No. I nope. think you did. No. So explain that to us. So. Because literally, so I'm here at my friend's house, and then you guys, literally, I saw you, and I literally was like, okay, what are they about to do? So I got scared. Okay. So I also was like calling up my friend and my family as well, like as I was parking and things, and they got a backup car over there. Like, are you trying to take me down or what? The police explained the traffic violations, but the driver claimed harassment and was scared because another police car arrived for support. I didn't do anything too wrong, or I don't know, because I didn't feel like I was about to hit you. No. Yes, I was making a turn, and you guys tried to get me in this, what is this called, a gangway or something? No, so you, before you made the turn is when I saw you cross the center line. So And so you, what? Okay, can I see your license for me, please? Yeah, but I have other questions, too. I actually go under this procedure a lot, okay. and I don't okay. like people coming after me for no reason. Okay. Now, well, you're not even giving us your license. You were. I don't you have even... my license with okay. the state ID. I, this is literally okay. that, and I don't okay. want to. Give, wanna... give me the state ID. Are you going to take it from me, or are you going to give me a ticket and take me to court? Because I'd rather that. Would you like okay. a ticket? We need the ID to issue the ticket. Would you like to yeah, leave? Yeah, because need to get I don't that. like everybody, well, except him, and you're not but you are but right. still I will step back no okay. it's it's just I actually saw the whole thing and I tried to check myself about it I was definitely trying to put in you know uh, you know directions I'm not gonna lie about that part after multiple requests and warnings the driver still refused to provide identification and kept giving excuses to prolong the situation no that's not you mm -mm. 
No. Because that, that's Amari. Who? It's Amari. Okay. Who is that? Okay. We can always check your fingerprints when we get out of the police department. So I'm still going to jail. It's not okay. my traffic stop, but... Yeah. Okay, we're going to get you out of the car, okay? You're okay. under arrest for obstructing. You're refusing lawful orders. I'm not. Yes, you are. I literally just told you all what's going on. You said Corey. And you didn't stop me. I stopped myself. So what's really going on? Are you terrorizing me? Are you harassing me? If you're asking me, I'm telling you, you're okay. Officer Valentine. You're under arrest. Come on. Okay. Get out of the car. Okay. Get out of okay. the vehicle. All right. Get All out of the right. vehicle. All right. Okay. Okay. Yes. Wait. 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 Put your wait. hands behind your back. Put your hands behind your back. Okay. Pensing up. I'm not. I'm strong. You're weak, dude. Finally, the driver was placed in the police car and the police had to take several measures to ensure her safety during the transport to the police station. The driver continued to argue and be uncooperative, making it difficult for the police to perform their duties. With this woman's obstructive and troublesome behavior, do you agree with putting her in jail? Leave your thoughts in the comments. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel and ring the bell to get notifications as soon as we upload new videos. Thank you and have a great day.